Did you catch up? I am. No, you did not. <laughs> I, am, I am trying to. I am in Sumeru at least, and I think we are live. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Don't say I'm late. You're a liar, because I'm right on time, right before it hits 631. What is going on, everybody? My name is Zach Aguilar, the English voice actor of Ether in Genshin Impact, and today I am joined by the legend, the voice actor of Sino, Alejandro Sob! Like, out of anybody that's ever introduced me, I think you're, like, the guy that always hypes me out the most. <laughs> the legend himself. Here he Bro, is. you've had the same hype of, like, intro every time. Alejandro Saab or Alejandro Saab. And I'm like, Bro, it ain't, Alejandro it ain't Saab. Bad, <laughs> yes. What's up, everybody? Do the salad voice. Yes. I'm game. <laughs> that's dead ass, the voice. Now you do yours. Uh, what's mine? <laughs> uh, Windblade? Oh, yeah. Windblade! Huh. <laughs> you gotta do the grunt <laughs> afterwards. Th dude, that's what I did. Um, is I... Somebody came up to me at a panel and they asked me to perform all of Ether's voice lines. And uh -huh. I did... Oh, I wait, di all of them? <laughs> they asked for all of Ether's voice lines. And this is what I did. I didn't, I didn't say Windblade, though. And I didn't say Terra Smash or any of those other ones. I just went... And like that was it. And that's really good. And they said, really "Wow, good. that that's unbelievable! I can't believe you just did them all." I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> that'll be a thousand dollars." Thank you. Well, you can't you can't say that anymore because uh, because it's Romero. You have uh, some lines. I know he does have lines in the Archon Quest, even though people who claim to have played it keep saying, "Oh, dude, like I hope he gets more lines." I'm like, "Did you hear his new ones?" And they're like, "He has new ones." I'm like, "Did you play the new Archon Quest?" And they're like, Clearly "Yeah." They didn't. And I'm like, "No, you didn't. You liar." You filthy you liar. liar. Um, All right, Zach, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's the, what's the question? Oh, I'm being interviewed. What? Um, so, with Sino, I don't know if you're aware, Sino tells terrible jokes. Oh, I need to hear the dad jokes, please. Okay, great. All right. That's, that Will was this my bring me luck? Will this help me get Sino faster? <laughs> it, so probably, it probably won't, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh god! Oh wow! I have thirty-five thousand primo gems. You think I'll get them? No. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, it would happen to me. I would be. They want me to spend more money. It's okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Are we? All right. <clears throat> I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. How much does a rainbow weigh? Not much. It's pretty light. Uh, oh do you get it do you yeah get it? because rainbow is light so yeah it's, it's pretty light for a second there i it's light it's made out of light <laughs> yeah it's so stupid <laughs> <laughs> um okay. so, so here's what i'll do so i don't drown you in dad jokes if you for every 50 50 50 you fail 50 50 50 uh i'll i'll tell one okay or some wait is this every 10 pull or <laughs> every 50 50 <laughs> uh you know what that means we're that only gonna get on one more chat. joke or <laughs> that all depends on your chat for every time you don't get sino i'll tell a dad joke okay um all right here we go let's do it everyone all right i got it okay <laughs> okay okay <clears throat> don't fart in an apple store they don't have windows. Don't fart in an Apple store. They don't have windows. Right. What do Why you would they have Microsoft products? Oh, uh, I was like, <laughs> I thought about windows. I was like, dude, true. Like every Apple store I've ever been to is, it looks like a freaking, um, what's it called? It looks like some futuristic, uh, freaking. It looks like that episode of, uh, spongebob squarepants where they go to the future in the past and it's the crusty oh, crab all clean yeah yeah like the clean crusty crab yeah <laughs> there's like no heart or soul in it it's just like a like a lifeless it's just yeah. every everything is just like a white wall white floor it's like pristine angles everything must be pristine it's square but then when everyone leaves it's probably the grossest place imaginable <laughs> you know all those tables must have like gum under it because of kids oh i'm sure 
or adults. Yeah. They're, they're degenerates. They are. Anybody who buys Apple products is. And as mm -hmm. I hold up my iPhone uh, right here. Uh <laughs> hey, don't this. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. Another 10 pull. Oh, I got my dog. He's a little baby. <laughs> okay. I got another one. <clears throat> what do you call a medieval spy? Sir Valence. Do you get it? Sir, sir. What do you call a medieval spy? Surveillance. Sir. Surveillance. Surveillance, bro. Because he's a like, spy. Because yes. looking, trying to like survey. Surveillance. I, I'm, I'm gonna. You're ruining my the, joke. These are so <laughs> difficult. Or well, that one was. I was like, sir. What do you mean? It's sir. It's sir. I understand like, you know, what. Sir Aguilar. Look, I understand what surveillance means, but I don't understand why we're like I don't know what surveillance like. It lands. It's, it's a, But he's oh. medieval. Right, a medieval is that why? spy. Is that why? Is, because spies survey, you know, surveillance. No, um, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I let, watch. I'm gonna get Sino right now. I'm gonna call it. I'm, I bet I'm gonna get Sino. All right, well, this is I'm it. gonna look for another joke. Okay, never mind. All right. I used to think I was indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. Why aren't you? Why are you not so sure? Because I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not so sure. I'm still indecisive, Zach. That's the. You're still. <sighs> you're still indecisive. You used to be indecisive. I used to think I was indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. Zach, you're you're doing this on purpose. Now you're now you're what? Now you're not uh, so. All right, I'll look for another one. <laughs> okay, this is where I get signed up. Watch this. You're not gonna get him. <laughs> Damn it! Why'd you say that? All right. Okay. Because fuck you. Oh wait, hold on. You got Candace. Hey. Candace. <laughs> Don't act like you're superior to me. You've made that joke like five times. What? What? Made what joke? Yeah, all right. Anyway. What are you uh, talking about? Why doesn't Candace... James Bond fart in bed? Why doesn't he fart in bed? Because it would blow his cover. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a laugh at you. Victory. <laughs> now that's the one I get. The stupid one. <laughs> Is it a fart joke or a poop joke? I got it. Ah, uh, you're so too. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> His cover is blown. James Bond, he's there in bed. Oh yeah. You went the extra mile. You better believe I did. Oh, you're too young for this one. You won't get it. I am too young. Do you want me to say it anyway? Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, right. go ahead. Why is Billy Joel's laundry still wet? Why is it still wet? He didn't start the dryer. Yeah, you're too young. Yeah, you're I'm too young. young. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that young. I have a baby face, though. I do have my li my little baby face. Um, dude, before I do this next poll, I I oh. I have to. I gotta ask you like some questions. Oh yeah, sure. I gotta man. ask you. I feel like we're getting close here. Um. Uh. Holy crap. Um, how did this start? Finished. Yes, thank you. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Bye, everybody. I have I have known you for. Oh God! I feel like I've known you for. If it hasn't been ten years, it's probably been really close. Yeah, I would say at this point ten. Yeah, because you you've known Hayden since like two thousand nine or ten or something. I just I just remember I was I was like thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, because when 13 we, or 14. Because when we met, it was through, you know, the Skype and all that stuff and the group and yeah, doing stuff. But yeah, I would say because I got into the V the the online VO scene in like 2012. So and that's when I met like Hayden and everybody else. And so it would have to be at least like nine years. It, it has to be nine to ten years. But yeah, we've known each other for a long time. Yeah. 
Man, I know it's crazy because I remember when we first met, we were kind of pursuing like voice acting stuff online and just mm -hmm. like trying to make this dream a reality. We had a bunch of different voice actors and people we were inspired by, like Yuri Lowenthal and Johnny Young Bosch. Oh, sure. Um, and it's kind of surreal now. Like we are, we're in projects with them. We've seen them. I'm sure. Have you met both of them actually? Uh, I've met Johnny, not Yuri. I, I've met Yuri very, very, very briefly, like out of a studio. It was like, it's like watching a majestic unicorn as he walked out. I was like, <laughs> holy crap. And he's like, and, and I asked him, I said, hey, is this, is this where this studio is? Because it was just in a random place. Sometimes studios, if they don't have enough space, they rent out other random oh, sure. buildings. You know how it is. So I, yeah, I asked yeah. him, I was like, I, is this where this place is? He's like, yeah, this is the place. He's like, you found it. And I was like, oh, awesome. Thank you. He's like, oh. he's like, have a good one. And that, that was it. <laughs> so um, I do hope I get to talk to him some more. But um, oh, yeah, I'm man, sure will. super wild journey. I think we've both been on. I'm just trying to think oh, back yeah. to like where it all where it all started. I mean, what what made you want to pursue voice acting or, or what got <laughs> you on the Internet to like try to become a voice actor and try to find auditions and do all that stuff? What what initially did it for you? Clearly my dog. Um <laughs> <laughs> Is that is that Ryuji? Yeah, that's Ryuji. Oh, little baby boy. Corgi. Yeah, well, I don't know about baby, but it's definitely uh, Corgi. <laughs> um definitely man, um it, well, before I got doing voiceover online, sort of like voice acting alliance and all that stuff when that was a thing. Um I my I had a buddy of mine who would make these things called machinimas. Uh, which were using like Halo yeah. or like Gears and all that stuff just to make a, a short film or whatever. I love machinimas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I grew up on. Like Red versus Blue and stuff. Yeah. That, that's what I grew up with. I love Red versus Blue. Oh, yeah. Me too. Back in the day. And uh, he asked me to be like a cop and I was 14 and uh, <laughs> I could not do it. I remember <laughs> I used like a pitch filter, the whole nines and using a rock band mic. Um <laughs> Yeah, it was it was it was surreal, but um, it, it was fun at the time. I was just like, oh, I'm just reading a thing. But as I did it more and more, I was kind of liking it. So I think it, I got really lucky in like my I think it was my senior year of high school. I uh, no, my junior year of high school. I had an entire free period because they the school messed up. So there was a thing called teacher's aid where you would essentially be helping uh, a random teacher that they would assign you. And I got assigned this teacher who technically did not have a class in the morning. I don't know how that worked. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I just had an entire morning, like two hours to myself because she didn't have a class and she's like, I'm going to go. And I was like, okay. So I would either take that opportunity to nap or I would just, play games or look up stuff and i at the time it was like 2011 2012 and i was starting to get really into more invested in the voiceover stuff and i wanted to know how to do it so i looked up like podcasts and like other stuff and one of them was voice acting mastery and that yeah. and listening to those stories yeah just listening to that stuff i was like it sounds interesting so i started googling it and doing a little bit of research and then that kind of like piqued my interest so then in my high school, in my senior year of high school, I took uh, theater, I took drama, I took writing in theater, and uh, that's where I really got into it and like fell in love. And I mean, years later, uh, th like that was the same year I like started doing like the visual novel stuff, like the indie games, like really. And then apparently like voice acting in lines died like a year later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, right. Voice acting alliance. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what uh, what triggered it, just like getting exposed to it. And because for the longest time, I wanted to be an animator. And it wasn't until I was actually in uh, I went to SCAD, uh, Savannah College of Art and Design, where I was studying animation 2D specifically, that I realized I wasn't having fun with it. So I dropped out, which I don't recommend to everybody. But uh, yeah. for me, I was in a position to drop out. And at the time, I was even having more fun doing voiceover just online. Yeah. Um, so that's and eventually I moved to Texas and uh, and then to Cali. I I don't I cannot believe I completely forgot that. Yes, because on your I haven't 
I have not been to your website in a long time, but I remember oh, on your sure. website, you had all of your awesome, you're like a super talented artist too. Do I you, don't know about that. You are, <laughs> you seriously are. Do you still draw? Uh, uh, from time to time. It's more of a hobby now than anything else. Um, but uh, my art style was cartoony. I feel like if I would have kept going with it, uh, I would have loved to have worked on uh, OKKO. I feel like my art style is yes. closely to that in comparison. Oh, totally. To, yeah. Yeah. No, I could see that. Man. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's been a while. I, I've had a weird life. <laughs> takes yeah, it takes me back. So, so yeah, I remember. Um, oh my gosh, uh, we where I feel like the first time we met was in it was in California, right? Was, well, was it in person? In, in person. person, the first time we met was definitely in California. I want to say it was either AX or I think we went to the Dragon Ball movie together because I. I was invited to go, and I think you were my plus one. Yes! Oh my gosh, is that where that is that where I took that picture with Markiplier? You yes, got one that's too, where right? We met Markiplier. Yeah. Yes, we <laughs> freaking Markiplier when we when we did that. And I don't know if you remember this or not, but I remember Markiplier was walking into like the theater, and he had like two Bulmas on each arm. Like two yeah, Bulma cosplayers. I do. What was up with that? I was like, who is this guy? I was like, damn, okay, this guy's That's a YouTuber. Markiplier. That's Markiplier. <laughs> um Well, hello everybody. My name is Markiplier. Yeah. <laughs> the deepest voice ever. <laughs> God. Yeah, that is so, so funny. funny. Yeah, I think I I still have that picture somewhere i i have my picture too and i'm like such a goober in it and just look like such a i look like i look like spongebob next to handsome squidward you know i'm just yeah. like <laughs> uh, i'm trying to remember if that was the same year you announced genos at expo or was it? if that was like the year prior i can't remember Ooh, i wonder i want to say yeah yeah hmm i don't know <laughs> no, it, it it probably no no no. It was that year. It was yeah. that year. Yeah, that was 2016. It had to be. It had to have been. That's Cause, so cause crazy. That was, yeah, yeah. 2016. It was Resurrection F. I want to say because it was the yes. Frieza movie. Yeah, yeah. Which was awesome too. It blew yeah. my mind and like seeing all the voice actors and like the red carpet. Uh, I mean, it was just insane. And, yeah. and now and now because I, I was thinking back to that experience because I just had that experience, you know, going to the yeah, Dragon Ball yeah, full circle, baby. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what the heck? And I'm talking to like the voice actors who I saw walk the red carpet. And now I'm like really good friends with them. <laughs> like, you know, voice yeah. like uh, voice actors for a uh, Goku and Vegeta. And I'm like, what is happening? Like, what is what is my life? It has. How did this happen? Like, I, mom, yeah, we live, did uh, I make it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's wild. Um, I remember. So I remember like uh, you coming to California and uh, or well, no, I remember we were hanging out in Texas. I'm pretty sure it was Texas yeah, somewhere. Yeah, you came to my apartment. Yes. Um, I remember we were hanging out in Texas and uh, <laughs> one time. Sorry, I'm just remembering a couple of things. Uh, yeah, I know. Don't, you better not out me. I, no, 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 no. Not no, no, on no, my no. own stream. <laughs> don't don't out me uh you knew exactly what i was gonna say <laughs> yeah i know what you're talking about um <laughs> but you i remember uh we went out to like lunch somewhere yeah. and uh you picked up the phone and you just started like speaking fluent spanish you're like talking to your mom yeah. or something i'm like yeah, dude yeah, yeah. what yeah. i'm like you speak spanish he's like oh yeah and i'm like you're fluent and you're like yeah so it was like whatever i'm like why aren't you using it like <laughs> yeah. holy crap do you know how many because in voiceover could like do you know the power you could wield could you imagine now is that <laughs> is that now you know but is it i never even i don't even know how that works like would you be able like for example let's say you voiced in yeah. like a netflix show and you did the mm -hmm. english version would they get you for the spanish version too because uh, like why not the the only reason I think they wouldn't is because most of those are done in Mexico. Um, there's like certain ones that are done like in Miami mm, or certain ones that are done out here in California. But I have thought about that because I was like, man, I would love to be like the yeah. actual Spanish voice of like Tsukauchi and like my hero. 
or right. you know like just like a bunch of other stuff but um miami baby yeah well well the thing is is also just like it, I, I i wouldn't even have the time the, the I one know. time it's a lot. i i got to do the english and the spanish of something was funny enough for uh promos i got to do it for the patrick star show promos <laughs> Uh, it, it was really funny. Coming okay. up next on the Patrick Star Show. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah. 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 I would. I would die. To, it, it, it's so funny because like I on TikTok I joke about like doing I do impersonations of like the other Genshin cast but in Spanish. Uh, and I've had a That's lot right. of people message me about being. It's like, are you gonna do Sano in Spanish? And I was like, I mean, maybe. Can, can you give me? <laughs> can you give me a Spanish Windblade? Windblade? Man, yeah. what would that even be in Spanish? Windblade. Aire. Blade. Like, espada is sword. What the hell would windblade be? <laughs> I'm like just trying to think about it. It's those things when you're put on the spot. It's like, oh, how it's do you like say windblade wind, in... Wind sword, wind something? Eh, espada, aire, hoja de viento. Well, first of all, hoja is, is like blade of grass. I guess that's what they're referring to. Yeah, and viento. Espada viento. That's what viento? I thought. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> viento is aire, like wind. Viento yeah. is aire. So, or, or viento is wind. Yeah, you got it. Ooh. Anyway, uh, wind slide? No, that's a different thing. That sounded uh, kind of cool. Espada de viento. Yeah. So, okay. You you say wind blade. Wind blade. Espada de viento. Like that, I guess. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, that's the one thing I ah, I just wish that I spoke Spanish. Roll your R's, bro. Roll your R's. <sighs> yeah, you're getting better, man. You're, you're better than the jokes you used to tell. Whenever I, 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 I... Oh, yeah, me gargling? You, uh, like, roll your R. You'd be like, oh, here's my R. And I was like, bro, you, 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 you did, I didn't even hear the R in that. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's tricky. It is tricky because I think for me, it's just about like relaxing my tongue really Don't that's sure i feel like when i'm drunk i can do it very well but then again i feel like i can do everything really well when i'm drunk so i can't tell i feel like i become like an amazing singer feel like i become i can do like a okay, hundred push-ups on. no 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 what do you mean you are an amazing singer shut the hell up i am not well at least not i'm i'm all right i'm all right normally but i'm definitely not right now my voice is trash from this past weekend oh well sure at everybody sure. i'm like hey I, I mean, everyone I feel, I feel the same way i uh i've been streaming um for the past couple of days like for hours and just i've been so busy that i've been overusing my voice today i was kind of scared that i wasn't gonna have one but yeah. it's just like when you talk so much and stuff and uh you know your voice gets tired so you're just like okay i gotta sleep it's it's a lot people don't <laughs> people don't realize i woke up today and i like i felt the red like instead of feeling the resonance you know in mm -hmm. in like up here or or like just coming out of my mouth i fe felt all of it in my chest like Hey, how's it oh. going? Oh, hey. Like, oh, dude, and, and yeah. I'm just talking normally. The morning voice. Yeah. It, it, hey, but it's because going, everybody? <laughs> I've been talking all all weekend long. I was just down in yeah, uh, yeah McAllen, Texas, uh, down in the valley. So um, and it was awesome. Everybody down there. It's always a great, great convention. But um, now I'm now I'm preparing. I'm working all day tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, I'm flying out to New York Comic Con, baby. Woo! Woo! So that Send should be fun. In my regards. Yeah, will do. Everybody, yeah. I I don't even. Random people are popping up that I didn't even know were gonna be there. I'm like, hey, you going to New York? They're like, yeah. Are you? I had somebody say, dude, why aren't you gonna be in New York? Like, you should be there. I'm like, I am there. Look You're on their stupid. website. <laughs> <laughs> Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Um. <laughs> oh man. So. So how has how so so you did get to use your spanish a little bit have you done anything else like just pure pure spanish uh, and voiceover I, okay well i've done a few things in spanish i i actually recorded for something uh half english half spanish where they wanted me to do a spanish accent uh today it was really cool can't talk about it yet but uh maybe soon um, okay all right but uh, for megalobox i got to do uh pepe iglesias uh in Spanish, which was really cool. Oh, like, really? He didn't, have any, he didn't have any English dialogue. It was all in Spanish. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it was it was really cool. Uh, the funniest one, I think, is <laughs> so there was a Jumanji video game and uh, based off like the Jack Black, Kevin Hart, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, that one. And um, 
I was the Spanish dub voice of Kevin Hart. No. And it was really interesting because I did this like years ago, but I was like, bro, what the hell? Uh, and it was like based off like Castilian Spanish because it's like they would talk about like culo, which for us is ass. Uh, and it, but it was like, <laughs> yeah, but sounds like, Kevin like Hart. Laughing our ass, <laughs> we were laughing our asses off. And because some of the, some of the words for like Latin American Spanish were like, this is a curse. Like, obviously this is like vulgar, but in Castilian Spanish, it wasn't apparently. So, but, uh, yeah, if you look up the, and I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube. If you look up, uh, Jumanji, the video game in Spanish and you hear, uh, like, uh, Finbar or Finbar or whatever his name is, that is, uh, uh that, that's me. Wow, right on. It was it was so weird. Uh, and I've done a couple of other things in Spanish. I just yeah, I've done like a couple of Spotify commercials and Heck I think yeah. I did some Toyota stuff in Spanish. Dude, that's awesome. I yeah, I yeah. I'm such a bad host. I forgot to even like tell like what what are your most known uh voiceover roles besides Sino? Oh, uh, well, uh, Yuri and Fire Emblem, Three Houses, obviously. Yes. <laughs> uh, Leon in Pokemon Journeys, uh, Miyamura in Horimiya, uh, what the hell, Shallot in Dragon Ball Legends, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. There's a, there's a character I voice in Demon Slayer who isn't known right now, but he will be. Uh, if you read the manga, I voice Kaigaku. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be, that'll be there fun whenever go. that Heck happens. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of other ones that you you guys can find online. I know you've been in so many things though too. Like looking at your resume, holy crap! Yeah, I uh, I've been very fortunate. Um, and, and it's not just like um, uh, just anime. Uh, you were on like, We Bear uh, Bears, weren't you? Yeah, I was in We Baby Bears. That's uh, so cool. It was it was really cool. I uh, funny enough because of Spanish, they wanted me to be uh, an alligator. There you go. And um and that that was really cool and then they brought me in to voice the the clone of the bears uh which was really cool uh i was both grizz and panda and i was like are we sure and they're like yeah this is great and i was like okay um <laughs> yeah uh it's been it's been really cool i've been in like miraculous i've been in that um uh to the people who've played strangers of paradise the final fantasy game i was jed you know the game where they're like chaos um <laughs> a million times chaos yeah uh i've been i've been very fortunate in uh the short time i've been in la and then the just the, the i know that a lot of people think that um seven years is a, is a, a long time but like for me i feel like seven years is still oh it's not it's not long. it is yeah. not for like what i think for what like you and and i have accomplished in that span of time like since we started working yeah. here it's pretty freaking bonkers like it's insane truthfully it really is like we have been so fortunate and um you know voiceover people people message me on the daily every day mm -hmm. i get messages about people like wanting to get into the industry and they ask me for like tips and i and the first thing that comes into my mind is like what have what have you done you know like up until mm -hmm. this point because if if they want if you want a real tip from me you want to know what i'm going to tell you use google like and dude that, sure that's, that's what i did sure that sounds like that's a half what we did. that that sounds like a half-assed answer but in all honesty that is legitimately yeah what we did i went to google yeah. i found a podcast from voice actors who only talk about voice acting they talk about agencies they talk about classes that you need to take where you should live what you can do if you don't live there they talk about soundproofing equipment audio software microphones you can buy what to start with what where you can go to you know practice reading stuff you you're probably not gonna be making a full living the the next day or even the next year after you say hey you know what i want to be a voice actor because that's not how mm -hmm. it works you are not going to be making a living you are probably like keep your normal job you're going to be doing it on the side and it's probably going to start out as a hobby and maybe if you are fortunate enough and dedicated enough to put the time and effort into it taking the classes buy, like paying for the workshops paying a teacher um getting a demo reel done you know being good at uh, marketing yourself and networking then hopefully one day you will have the opportunity to audition for something 
which could be anything. You might not even know what it is that you'll be auditioning for. And you might see the audition and be like, huh, this random little video game, mobile game, I don't really care about this. I don't even know what this is. This isn't Final Fantasy. This isn't Super Mario. Why am I auditioning for this? Well, that's how it works. You are an yeah. actor. You don't get to choose what you're in. You take whatever opportunity comes your way, audition for the project, and more than likely, you won't get it, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to have to do another audition. And let you don't get paid you, for auditions. <laughs> bro, let me tell you, I th th this year, I listened back to some auditions of like, at the time, I was like, yeah, I nailed that. I nailed that. <laughs> yeah. And I listened back earlier this year. And these were like auditions for like 2017 for yeah. like big projects. And I was like, ugh, I would not have. Ugh, I would have thrown this in the trash. Terrible. Yeah. It was awful. Because it, it, it's, yeah, it's. I've done the same thing, uh, dude. And yeah. I'm and I'm just like, oh, I can I, I can just hear it. And it's and it's not and it is truthfully a night and day difference. You're like, holy yeah. crap, like now you, you think like now, yeah, I sound like an actor. Back then, I was like, I was trying to do some kind of voice. Oh, yeah, I did it. Yeah. I'm sound so awesome. And you thought that you sounded amazing, but really you just sounded like this. Like, and that did not sound here's, realistic. Here's the thing, when uh when I go back and listen to older shows, I don't feel that way because of the director. The director led me to where I sounded my best. Oh yeah. But listening to the auditions is vastly that's, different. That's where that's where you realize it. Like, holy crap. I and that is a skill in itself, I will say. Like directing yourself, developing oh, yeah. developing the ear, I think, for what sounds good and how and then figuring out how to, you know, uh how to use that skill to make yourself sound better that is a whole that is a whole other ability in itself because you could be mm -hmm. i think you could be a great actor with a with a really good director but knowing how to do those auditions because that is like that a lot of the, the audition is the job you know like you have that is it's such an important skill to learn and and i think that for auditions there's probably only so many classes you can take and at a point it might just be experience. Like you just got to do a crap load of auditions and listen Dude, back to them. Yeah, yeah, for for sure. And it comes with time and ex experience, obviously. Also, to the people asking, uh, I'm from Ecuador, Guayaquil. That's where Latino there, America. There he is. Oh, there you go. Uh, but yeah, man, it, it, it's it's all about practice and being patient with yourself because it's like there are a lot of people who are impatient and mind you I, I i'm sure you and i have been impatient i know for a fact i've been impatient oh totally times. no there have been yeah. times when i've like i think i've you know i've done things or i've reached out to i've i've spammed studios when i definitely shouldn't have i've sent way too many emails like i didn't do everything perfectly but yeah n nowadays when i talk to when i talk to people about it and people i'm like yeah just you know just take take your time and that that's the one thing that like pissed me off as a kid when everyone's like oh my gosh you're like 16 you got plenty of time i'm like oh, yeah. i'm like dude i don't have any time so i don't i don't tell people that and i don't tell kids that but what i do tell them is i you know i tell them do all of the right things like be persistent stay motivated and just yeah. practice your acting like do, and i just tell them do every single kind of acting because a lot of people will a lot of i don't know if you've met a lot of people they're like yeah like i don't want to do theater like you know i'm, I'm yeah. just like really shy and i'm like well sounds like you're not an actor it sounds like you can't yeah. be an actor and i hate to be so blunt about it but truthfully that is what they need to hear like it sounds like you're not an actor because you can't be shy you got to put yourself in like some crazy situations mm -hmm. vulnerable positions i was like 15 and i remember I, and I'm personally like pretty introverted and I would go around and, and have to like meet people in a studio um, or maybe go meet the casting director who I know is super duper important in like a certain studio I go into. I finish a session or I finish an audition or something and I go in there just to say, hi, I'm Zach. Just want to say hi. Thank you for the opportunity. Have a nice day. You know, take like one minute of their time and leave. Yeah. Uh, and I was terrified to do that. But I pushed myself to do it because that's kind of like what you have to do. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know you just don't want to step on any toes too so exactly it's also that like extra thing of being etiquette you gotta anxious. know yeah if it's the right time for that or if it's not if they are in a meeting with seven other people you have to have the common sense to yeah. not be like i'm gonna go introduce myself <laughs> like that is and, and bro let me tell you uh even when you have the job you gotta remind yourself if it's your first session you don't know these people right like and they don't know you 
Uh, perfect example. One of uh, my dear friends, Tia Ballard. When we first met, she hated me. <laughs> Dude, so what did you do? So not when we first met. So what happened was <laughs> I auditioned. One of the first shows I auditioned for was the show she was directing called Kiss Him, Not Me. And I was a part of it. Um, and uh, she cast me. I remember during the audition, she was like, oh, for this one character, she was like, could you, do you know Scourge? And I was like, the hedgehog? And she's like, oh, someone got my reference. So I was like, oh, cool, we're cool. Uh, and she cast me as a different character. And while we were working, I apparently was being overly friendly and making very sarcastic jokes. Tia can't read sarcasm. So she thought I was being an asshole. So for three <laughs> weeks, she thought I was the worst. And then in the third week, I'd said something and she doesn't remember either. But she uh, clapped back and said something to me and I laughed it off. And apparently she was like, oh, we we were joking. Oh, oh, this is bad. <laughs> So it, it's just oh, did she? Show. She like meant what she said, but you thought she that she didn't. It. I brushed it off because I thought it was a joke. So, and then she realized, oh, we've been joking this whole time. He's not terrible. Oh, he. This is just his. Oh, so it's just one of those things. And apparently, she wasn't the only one I was uh, trying to be overly friendly with. Uh, 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 Felicia was the same way, and Tia had to vouch for me. But now. We all love each other. I love them. They're some of the greatest people. I never had a problem with them. Yeah, uh, but, but I can see how that I could... was overly friendly <laughs> because I was I was joking around. So there's got to be a fine line, right? Is, is what I'm trying to say to go back to your thing, right? Because you got to put yourself out there. But if you put yourself, if you overstep, that's gonna leave the ba a bad impression. Right, right. That was always. That was always my, I think I, I was kind of like the opposite in a way. I was, I was always too scared and timid to do, to like do or say anything. But I feel like because of that, it was, it was sort of hard to leave. Um, it, it was sort of hard to like get to know people, you know, and develop relationships oh, with sure. them personally because they didn't know like my personality. Nowadays, I think I've grown a lot like as a person to the point where, like you said, like I've re I've reached that line. Like I know exactly what I can joke about with people that I'm working with, what I shouldn't yeah. joke about. I you kind of you, you after a while you kind of read the room. You might be able to tell if people are oh, like sure. really stressed or if the deadline is super tight, and you're like, okay, we just got to get this done. You know, you'll you could crack a joke at the end of the session, thank everybody and leave. But uh, but maybe not like after every other line <laughs> because that's <laughs> yeah, gonna yeah. drive people freaking crazy. It's like, please shut the hell up. Just do your job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is say Windblade. <laughs> Just say Windblade. It's like me and the hey director. Guys, isn't Windblade kind of like a fart? <laughs> Dude, I feel like that's what we—that's what I do when I'm recording Genshin with uh with our director Chris Fiella. Uh, every time I, every time I go in there and I got some grunts or something they need. Mm -hmm. in between uh, when they're finding like where the next grunt needs to be in a cutscene, i know this sounds so stupid when they're oh yeah no i know what you're talking about though <laughs> when they're finding where the next uh, needs to be in a cutscene, uh we just talk about like the most random stuff we're talking about the stock market we're talking about real estate we're talking about like a concert or like a game or something that we saw or mm -hmm. watched or a trailer and we're just like talking about it all along and then they pull up the grunt and we're still talking about it and and then they like roll the thing really quick and i go uh, and then the, and then chris is like okay let's do another one and i go and he's like, oh, the second one had a little bit more umph to it. And then we go and talk more again. And we just, yeah. and that's all we do is we just like chit chat all, all day. But, but, but I do that because I know that the team is cool with it. And we know like we're just doing grunts. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. So sure. at least we can have a conversation and not just like sit around awkwardly and be like, all right, let's wait for the next grunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, in fairness, like, I mean, like, I, I had a lot of dialogue and, and I was telling you before we started streaming that, like, uh, for Sino, everything was super last minute. Yeah. And we were and we were a crunch. I was the last person to record and it was all the like the the second to last and last week of August. So and, and then Sino was literally announced like a week and a half after we finished everything for 3.1. And uh, but like. <laughs> 
there would be t times where we would just have 20 minute tangents about Chris would be talking about this book called Journal 29 or we'd just be talking about the house market or just some random thing and uh but uh, it 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 kind of helps like you know if you're nervous you oh know, yeah just, it, it, it absolutely helps you with like calming your nerves and all that so it's also just it feels like you're you're, you're working with your friends oh 100 percent. i think if i ever directed something that's the kind of director i would be like make oh, sure, sure make sure everything's taken care of make sure we have enough hours for the actors and and maybe even maybe just just like i don't know take our time with it get to know people and ju just have fun rather than and not not every director is like that so you know we're really fortunate i think to yeah. work with uh chris and a majority of other like really cool people but um uh but yeah dude uh i want to do another poll and then i want to hear another you know dad joke because i all have right, a feeling i gotta got ready i have a feeling sino is gonna take all my all my primos this is uh this is my, one of my favorites Perfect. Uh, okay all right <clears throat> What did the sushi say to the bee? What? Wasabi. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's one of my favorite ones. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. That was good. That was... Ooh, that was something. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. That was great. Oh, I forgot. You like fart jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a good one. It was good. It was good. But it, it, it hurt at the same time. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> I got another one already revved up. <laughs> okay, oh, looks like we yeah. got to hear it. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you call a person missing 75% of their spine? What? A quarterback. No! A quarterback. That's a good one. Yeah, that, that is, is a, a good, good one. one. Okay. This is it. I bet. Okay! Hey! hey. <laughs> Please. Go through it. Okay. Man, I can't believe that Chi Chi's gonna look so good. No, don't you dare do this to me. Bro, is that a cryo sino? <laughs> no! Oh! 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 Man, I can't believe you got gender bent sino. No! Oh, please. Man, sino looks so good. Oh. Bro, yo, your sino looks fucking. <laughs> Man. Oh. Woo. Why did this happen to me? Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Please. Okay, well, back to square one. Here we go. Good thing I have 35 I had 35,000 primos. Hey, what's the toughest part of being a vegan? What what is it? Keeping it to yourself. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Okay, now that's that's freaking funny. That is so funny. Especially especially when you're in LA. When oh, you're yeah. when you're when you live in Los Angeles, guys, everybody is like all about I don't know, being vegan or whatever and like eating crazy things or different weird substitutes for things like oh yeah i got this like impossible this impossible meat burger and it has like you know almond soy and and oat milk in it all at once yeah classic la i mean right, i did on. that at one point but i just i don't know i cannot i cannot give up give up meat all right Okay, I'm ready. I'm not wearing glasses anymore. I've seen enough. Yeah, that one's I'm... bad. <laughs> oh, you've seen enough. You've seen enough. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, 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 hold on. I'm, I'm try just trying to... My, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, this one's stupid. It takes guts to be an organ donor. 
<laughs> that it does. <laughs> Way to state the obvious, idiot. The silence is... The switch Deafening. hasn't been flipped. <laughs> now we're just waiting to see how long it takes. How much of my money will Sino take from me? All right. What do you call a cow in an earthquake? What? A milkshake. <laughs> that was good. Nice. A milkshake. I love it. Okay. What's your favorite kind of milkshake? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know, dude. It, like, milkshake-wise, I think I'm just... Give me the cookies and cream. Ooh. Yeah, really solid. Yeah, I, I love yeah. cookies and cream. Um, For me, uh, peanut butter and chocolate is always... Uh, oh, I don't like peanut butter. You don't like peanut butter? Yeah. No. It, 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 look, here's the thing. I, I, I get why people like it. I just... I, I, the smell for me is too much. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I hated it so much when I was a kid. I, I actually lied in elementary school. <laughs> oh, did you say that you were allergic? Yeah. I You're did, one so of those I... people. <laughs> I couldn't have my PB and J because of you. Yep. 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 I literally did it on purpose. I was like, ugh, I'm sick of looking at the peanut butter. You're sick of looking at the peanut butter. Uh, okay. Ma'am, I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic, dude. I, so I was on a plane. I, I was just because I was just flying to uh, to a convention, and the flight attendant comes over with a uh, with um, what is it? It's like a little mini tray. Oh sure. With a uh, with nuts on it, like, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, oh, oh, I think your stream lagged for a bit. Oh, what happened? It's frozen. That's why you go to Wendy's. Fresh, never frozen. <laughs> Fresh, never frozen. They said we're back. Did we're it back, did it freeze baby. right on the D's nuts joke? It right, sure did. Right when I said <laughs> that. Gotta... Okay, I gotta tell this again. So, yep. the, so the lady offered a man next to me who was allergic to nuts, and um, and he said he said no, I'm allergic to nuts, and so she looks back. She she she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, and she takes the nuts and looks at me and she's like oh would you like some nuts would you like d's nuts sir shit i couldn't do it right um yeah you fucked it up okay i did i look <laughs> i i did it i did it once but anyways i thought that was so odd because like if he's what if he's really allergic to nuts like very allergic wouldn't that suck if i took the nuts yeah i you, sat you, right next to him yeah then i'm the asshole <laughs> i kill him but but that's what I thought was so weird. I'm like, lady, why are you offering me the nuts? Like, you know, just take it. Be like, oh, I'm so sorry. And just take them away. Don't look to the guy next to him, especially when you're on an airplane. I'm sitting like four inches away from this dude. Like, what? Yeah, I'll take it's the nuts. Like, mm, these nuts. You take a bite. A single crumb falls on his lips and he starts dying. Yeah, it's all your fault. that could happen. I, I would have killed a man just yeah. like that. Oh, by the way. What's up? I told my wife she needs to start embracing her mistakes. So she hugged me. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a finger. <laughs> so she hugged me. Man, uh, that was a good one. Relax, guys. It was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty nutty. Uh... I'm nutty. Damn. Why am I so unlucky? Is it because I spent a bunch of money before the stream? It knows. They want to take my... No, it's it's Sino. Everyone's been dealing with this. What Except is... for like a few people who got two Sinos in one. Ugh. All right, this one's stupid. What is the biggest type of ant? What is it? An elephant. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I told you it was that. <laughs> I warned you. Okay, I think we're close. This has to be it. This is it's in the next poll. Let's go. I can't believe you're gonna be the first person to ever lose a 50-50 after losing a 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awful. I'm like, how does that happen? Are you Man, serious? That is awful. This is taking everything from me. 
All right, this one's a killer. This one's great. Okay. <clears throat> what has five toes and isn't your foot? Is it your foot? It's my foot, yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was foot. like, what else would it? I don't know. What else is a foot? Like somebody else's foot? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> okay, okay. It's like, it's got to be your foot or my foot or whatever. It's got to be awesome. somebody's a foot, yeah. Oh, hey. there we go. Come on. Hey. Come home, baby. And you, you C6 Sino, right? Oh, yes, I did. C6, uh, now have the weapon at R2. There he is. There he is. Welcome home, my boy. All right, I got one more for you. <clears throat> okay. To the person who stole my place in the queue, I'm after you now. Oh, because you're after them in the there queue. Oh, yeah. my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the dad jokes. Oh, Dude, I love, them. I love them so much. Wow. Uh, what, you're not going to see sick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, I wouldn't wish that I'll, on anybody. I'll leave that to you, my friend. Uh, one of these days, I don't know. I'm Maybe if I tried Sino out and I really like the play style, then I don't know. I could possibly. His burst is really fun. Okay. Uh, I, I will say, I've, uh, if you Dendro Traveler, he's great. Yeah, I want to. I've I've heard yeah. nothing but good things, and I've tried to get the Geo artifacts. I have given up. I've given up. It's too. It's too much. I can't Dude, do it. Yeah. I can't grind, guys. Like I. I just. I was not made to be on the grind. I tried. Yeah. One of these but days. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Damn, that's a lot of level ones, bro. I know. Ready to do my That's more than me. There he is. All right, let's hear your grunts. Time for me to, time for me Evaluate. to judge him. Okay, yeah, it sounds like he's you know whipping around the pole arm. Oh, all right, I like that one. I like that one. They told me to keep it subdued. I I went way more aggressive originally. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like you have to. No, it sounds great. Whoa. It's so funny because like, I, I remember when people uh, were watching the trailer, it's like, oh, his voice is so deep. Uh, and I was like, really? Because uh, that was them telling me to raise my voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know your voice didn't, it, it, it is not like super deep here. It's yeah. It's not. It's yeah. not like how like like your talking voice. Like I can hear the bass in it, but in Sinos, oh, yeah. I, I can't hear yeah. the bass in it. Like there are times where he gets aggressive, like with the "found you," like that one or whatever. But like, right. uh, But normally, it, it's Sinos' voice is slightly breathier. Uh, but I love Chris. Chris's description of it uh, was like he's Batman, but not deep voiced Batman. <laughs> And I was like, oh, sure. Because when he said Batman, I'm like, I am the knight. Like, that's what you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, he's like, like, I am vengeance. I am vengeance. I am the knight. No, no, no. That's not right. Oh, okay, my bad. <clears throat> I am vengeance. No. <laughs> <laughs> do the Robert Patterson one. Where yeah. he, it's I don't vengeance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, where he what? just that's actually yeah, that sounded very much like him. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. It's it's just like a dude saying like, I'm vengeance, and that's I'm it. That man. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. He's Batman now. Nowhere to run. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, you. I don't know if I've. I don't know if I've ever heard your voice like in this register for a role. Yeah, this is a this is a new one for me. I think uh, the closest thing to because the thing is is like the closest thing to this voice wise is probably Miyamura in Hori Mia. Mm. Um, but uh, the the intensity is probably Tatsuya from the Irregular at Magic High School. 
so it's like it, it's definitely not a place i've had to use before where it's like oh you're threatening but with like a higher voice gotcha yeah oh here i don't want to start the quest i'm gonna accidentally start the, <laughs> the quest this is fun just like swinging around like spider-man yeah you sure you're batman or spider-man Spider uh, he's <laughs> definitely batman but you know it's batman with a hook shot there you go Woo! Um, there is another thing I wanted to talk about while you were here on the stream. Oh yeah. And that is uh, your your new per your new pursuit into VTubing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, for uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I am a VTuber known as Sayu VTuber. Uh, he's a cyborg Sayu. That's why it's. Cy you what C Y Y U because uh I took the joke that KG Tang made where uh robots will eventually take over our jobs, which shout out to AI technology, you <laughs> bastard. Uh <laughs> they can take my job for ten million dollars. Uh yeah, there you go. For ten million dollars. <laughs> hey, give me a royalty. Isn't that what they're doing with the Darth Vader guy? Like uh, they... I have no idea, but uh, that's that's what I assume. <laughs> Honestly, I assume the reason he did it is because to secure his family. Like, that's the only reason I can think of it. I'm like, they must have given him the fattest check, and he's going to give that to his family. Right. Like, that's the only thing I could think of why you would do that rather than let it go to someone else. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, to the VTubing thing, yeah, the joke is uh, that I am a, a cyborg say you, but uh, uh, I stream usually on Twitch. I've been ogling YouTube uh, because of uh, recent events on Twitch, but I... It's been a lot of fun, uh, like just doing VTubing. My Let's favorite part is not agenda. having any lights on me while I stream. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I could just stream in the dark or like with very low, warm lights. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's always funny because like I just had to be complicated. I couldn't just be like Alejandro. <laughs> I had to be like Alejandro, Kagi Films. Uh, Sai UV tuber, and then Weeby. Like, I, dude, I'm like, yeah, you, you and I, on everything. <laughs> you and I are very similar in that way because I have, I have that kind of mindset as well. I feel like I need to do everything, and I want to do everything. Yeah. But y at some point, you kind of have to realize like you can't do everything. I mean, or you yeah. can, but it's it's gonna to suck extent? yeah <laughs> like the thing is is uh the thing for me is that uh, like right now i can if i were you i would uh i would not be streaming <laughs> <laughs> well, like no 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 like come on. all right guys i'm leaving uh, no, well, well, no, no 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 i, I don't mean in it. this exact moment i mean in the sense of how i stream because like <laughs> If I were to stream maybe like once a month, sure. But you travel so much and are so busy apart from the traveling that I would be like, great, when I'm home, I, I just want to lay in bed or just play a game if I'm not working. Um, and if I feel like streaming when I have a day off, whenever the hell that is, then I'll do it. But if I were in your position, streaming would definitely be the first thing to take a step back. In comparison to like uh, the covers or my voiceover, yeah. It would absolutely be streaming. I cuz I'm like yeah. well well the music I'm like okay if I do the music and upload it like a month from now I'm still going to make money from that like months later or you know like it's it's just it's less time consuming than streaming. Right, right. And that's a, you know the thing is is playing like playing video games on I think like as a kid and watching YouTubers and streamers and stuff growing up like this is another thing that I've always just wanted to do, right? You know, like I loved yeah. voice, I loved voice acting. Obviously I loved voice acting more than like, you know, being a streamer, playing video games on the internet because that, cause, cause like being a, being a voice actor is, <laughs> being a voice actor sounds more realistic than trying to, you know, play video games for a living. You know what I mean? Like, like more tangible. Yeah. At least you can like pursue it. Like, how do you, cause I don't know. Well, I mean, ah, they're, they're both, they're, they, they're similar in different ways, but yeah, like it's, you set your own schedule and you got to work hard and you know, yeah. do it all on your own. But, um, and, and the thing is with like, with like streaming and doing all that stuff, you're, it, it, it's like, if that's the thing you're going to do, like, you got to be on that thing. Right. And same with voiceover. I feel like with, with us, it's like we can produce content every now and then, but we can't give our full energy if we're do if we're prioritizing one or the other. You know what I mean? Exactly. 
Yeah. Yeah, there's only there really is only so much you can do. And even if you make time, you don't always have that that pure natural energy that you need to make, I think, good content. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. there's something about like being refreshed and being totally in the moment and just loving every second of it rather mm -hmm. than just uh rather than just being like, man, I'm so tired today, but like, you know, this is my schedule. I'm just going to do yeah. it. Like it becomes way more of a job and it is and it is a job. Like you have to work hard, of course. Like there are times when you aren't going to want to do something, but um but yeah, man, I think just play just playing games and stuff has always been so fun to me. A lot of people haven't even seen me play the games that I'm actually good at. Like I'm very average at Genshin, if you can't tell. But um <laughs> I'm I've never been good with like stats or like building stuff. Like same with like Pokemon. I'm not very good at like, you know, assembling a team. I just like picking the ones that look cool and I mean, you know, the games are so easy nowadays, I it doesn't really matter, but um you know, I, I I could never play competitive like Pokemon and Oh, I could never either. Yeah. I'm just yeah, not yeah, good yeah. at like stats and you know, trying to figure out this is the best thing and do that and this and that, this and that, and this artifact and this will give me the extra damage boost. Like a hundred percent I would be a hundred percent I you know, you gotta look up guides and stuff or take recommendations from your friends, like yeah, this is what you should be doing. Um Yeah. People haven't even seen me play my first person shooters, baby! Oh god, yeah, you with Halo. That's sure. it. Halo is my game. It that that is my game. So uh hopefully one of these days I'll get to do a do a Halo stream. But then it's so hard to look at the chat and like read like donations yeah, like and stuff. Yeah, in the middle of a game for sure. Like what do you do? You die and then you have like 3 seconds like thank you so much for the, you know, 200 whatever 200 bits. Definitely. Like definitely. That, that is crazy. Um but yeah, uh, if you guys haven't already, uh, I've listed a few of Alejandro's socials down below. We got his Twitter, his Instagram, and also his uh, VTubers Twitch. But y you said you're kind of like I in YouTube right now. You don't know for sure. Uh, for for streaming, yeah, it's. I, I feel like I would slowly get into it. Like what what I was planning on doing if I did switch uh, was. Um, maybe stream on youtube like once in a while yeah while uh still streaming on twitch but if i were to do that i would do it on my vod channel uh which is like just sayu vods i think on youtube so oh gotcha like, i mean that 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 channel already exists so yeah i do try to lighten the mood sometimes but i'm not the best judge of other people's sense of humor yeah zach <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop there for a second. But yeah. yeah, if you guys haven't already, please go give Alejandro a follow. Um, you know, his VTuber stuff is awesome. Like those TikToks you were talking about that you made oh, for yeah. uh, that some of those are so funny. I love the editing on them too. Um Yeah, it's so funny because like now my focus for YouTube and TikTok is gonna be like the shorts and the clips. And yeah. um I, I told my editor, I was like, Hey, these highlights are great. Um, do me a favor. No more highlights. Just do, just do shorts. See what happens. And uh, I was like, yeah, if we want to do it daily, se if you give me seven a week, I'll pay you the same amount or whatever. And he's like, yeah, sure. And yesterday he hits me with a, so I have 28 done. I was like, 28? <laughs> I said seven. <laughs> 28. Seven. Hold on. I got to hire this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Dedication. Damn. <laughs> He's like, I wanted to be done with the month. <laughs> For real, I might hire that guy. Um, <laughs> I need somebody. Uh, Better luck finding him. <laughs> finding him? Oh, no. Um... Yeah, dude, thank you again so much for coming on the stream. It's been awesome. It's been amazing. I said this before we started the stream, but it's it's been really crazy to see how far we've both come since way yeah, back dude. when. We, t we used to talk over Skype, and yes, I say Skype because Discord, quite frankly, didn't even exist. Or if it did, it, it, nobody... It definitely didn't. Yeah, nobody cared about it if it did. Like, it, it had two users on it. Um, Just like TeamSpeak? Yeah. See, oh man, TeamSpeak! I remember that. I used <laughs> I used to play online tourneys, and they would require you to like oh, yeah. make a TeamSpeak thing, and I would jump in there, and it was so weird. It was so weird to use. I'm like, I wish we could just do this on Skype. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's been a crazy journey, I think, for both of us. So cool to see uh, all the stuff you've accomplished, and cool to see you finally in Genshin. Um, yeah. You know, I was hoping I was hoping one of these characters would would be for you, and you know, you got Sino, and I think it's perfect, and I couldn't see anybody else doing it. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. And yeah, likewise, dude, because like, yeah, like we, because I remember like, not to, uh, to drag this out any longer, but like, I remember when you were first starting out, like you were, you were like, uh, people weren't taking you seriously because you were so young. Yeah, <laughs> I was so yeah. young. I was like 14. <laughs> well, yeah, like that was the thing. But when we were talking about it, you were like... 16 17 oh yeah it was still hard yeah yeah because like the moment you hit 18 i think that's when like genos happened exactly that's when that's when things started to happen they realized like okay we can hire him we can use him for promotional stuff you know and yeah and they saw that i was like i wasn't like a crazy 18 year old like i was i don't know <laughs> i wasn't like i'm party city baby i'm gonna go out and you know do some crazy stuff and like Let's make go, the, baby make the brand look bad um I, I just Jack really like, let's go baby turns on halo <laughs> let's go left, baby <laughs> turns on halo turns into a different person um <laughs> God. turns turns into a very toxic version of myself <laughs> uh <laughs> what are you doing no it's it's not halo it's uh that that, that was league of legends for me yeah that. i i never i'll never forget the uh <laughs> i think you were playing with aaron and uh yes it's like i can't keep getting dragged down by these losers i keep carrying the game <laughs> <laughs> you were so cocky and I, yeah I, was like, Bro. <laughs> I know i was but it was true i was carrying the game and everybody else sucked <laughs> i was doing everything i possibly could and my team was not protecting me i was playing 80 carry our tanks were like there building we glass cannons i don't know why they weren't building tanky um, and I'm like, dude, it's me. I'm vain. I'm here to pop off. I'm here to roll around. Pew, 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 pew. I got to Diamond 5 in, or Diamond 4? Diamond 4 in League of Legends before I finally, um, quit. I think I, I think I just discovered yeah. something See, here. Yeah, that's what happens when you brag about League of Legends. <laughs> I got to Diamond 4 before I finally, uh, just gave up. I, I, I demoted back down to Diamond 5, I think, and, like, all the way down to Diamond 5. I lost... All my LP at the time. I don't know if it's still called LP because last time I played was like season five. You are speaking a different language to me, by the way. Okay, well, people, <laughs> people who, people who know, um, know what I'm talking about. Yeah, League of Legends, clearly. Yeah, I was, uh, I was very. I don't even know well, if I'm it's still called LP. I'm gonna play a real game, a Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's Animal Crossing. That's what I'm playing. Heck yeah! I gotta, I'm, I gotta go get on there. I think they, they've come out with multiple updates that are pretty huge. Oh, uh, they've come out with so many. I haven't played uh, Animal Crossing in a, in a while though, because uh, the last big update I think was, I think it was either the diving or the no, was it the home improvement stuff where you can like design others' houses? Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot. My island's trash. It, it looks like a construction site. Just steal someone else's. <laughs> can I do that? I mean, you could steal their design, probably. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, it It's funny because I don't know if you saw this, but there were services online where you could pay somebody. You could send them your switch and pay them <laughs> to no make. Way. I am 100 percent serious right now that you could send them your switch and they would make your entire island for you. And they would. Um, I don't know. I think they would time travel and do all of that to get whatever it is that you wanted on there. If you wanted a specific design. Yeah, there was actually a service where you would mail them your switch. Was it a scam? No idea. I would never do that, but <laughs> I that thought it was interesting. Ridiculous. I know. <laughs> sounds like a terrible idea. I know, Dark. Sounds like something you absolutely would have done. <laughs> Look, I I saw some of my friends' islands and I considered it for a minute. Uh, you know what? A minute. That's fair. Just a That's minute. I felt like garbage compared to my friends. I was like, how are you so creative? And like, how did you? Oh, yeah, I made this whole design and pattern myself. I'm like, what? Mm -mm. What do you mean? You didn't just download it from somebody else? No, no, no. I, I created it. I went into Photoshop. I did it all. I designed it I myself. Did it all me. And I'm just like, how? God. Climbing on the spider thing. Anyways, dude, thank you so much again for coming on the stream. Uh, guys, sure, if you haven't. 
go follow Alejandro. All of his socials are down below in the description, as well as his VTubers uh, Twitch account. If you ever want to catch him live, uh, how often do you stream? Do you have like a set schedule? Uh, I wanted to, but my schedule right now is insanely busy. Um, I, if I do stream, I may stream on Wednesday, but other Heck than yeah. that, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just follow me on Twitter and that's where I'll usually notify people when I'm going live. Get on there. Get on Twitter, everybody. Um, okay. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, mute real quick. So Alejandro, sure. give me like five minutes. I'm just going to thank everybody and then I'll be right, right. back. He hates me. <laughs> I love you. Bye. He doesn't mean it. I love you. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for coming out to the stream today. I really do appreciate it. Um wow, wow. There, there's been so many so much support, so many super chats. If you guys are going to New York Comic Con, I would absolutely love to meet you there. I will be there all the days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be at New York Comic Con. If you are around that area and would like to meet me, yes, I will have a table there. You can literally just walk up to the table and come meet me. You just need a ticket to the convention, I believe. You shouldn't need a ticket to come see me. I do try um, to so, sometimes. Yes, I would love to see you guys out there. Now I gotta the give some shout outs here. Nahida, welcome to the Airbuds. Uh Pexage, welcome back for 17 months. Thank you to the Airbuds. Uh Robin, you said you got Sino after 30 polls. Well, good for you. Couldn't be me. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Raquel, welcome back to the Airbuds for five months. Snow Angel, welcome back for 10 months. You love the dad jokes. Yes, some of those were pretty funny. Others uh, hurt me. Uh, Toasty is Soul Dark, thank you. Welcome back for 16 months in a row. Uh, so happy to have you as part of the community. Star, welcome back. Or uh, Thank you for the $5 super chat. Everything in Chrome is in the future. Yes, it is. Norma, thank you again for the super chat. The singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth. Then it's a soap opera. Thank you, Norma. Nick M, welcome to the Airbuds. Rose, uh, welcome to the Airbuds for four months. Girly Hina, thank you for the super chat. A new poll ritual confirmed. Tell dad joke in Sino voice. There it is. Norma, thank you again for the super chat. I only know 25 letters in, of the alphabet. I don't know why. Leg Coon, welcome to the air buttons. <laughs> uh, thank you. Do you put cereal first or milk first when making cereal? I'm going to answer this for Alejandro because all sane people put cereal in the bowl first. Not the milk. You put the cereal in first. That is the only way to do it. Ardent Sylph, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. Best of luck to your polls, Zach. You are looking great. Oh, thank you. I hope you are taking care of yourself. I'm doing my best. Alejandro Sino is so much fun. It was 2 in the morning when he was announced, and I screamed when I saw your name. Yeah, heck yeah. I screamed too when I first found out Alejandro played Sino. I was so hyped for him. Emma, thank you for the super chat. Christina Chu, thank you for the $20 super chat. How you doing, Christina? And congratulations on the job at Square. Yes, you did it. You're out of that other place. Um, seriously, uh, Christina, congratulations. That's amazing. Uh, let me know how it goes. Naomi Brunson, uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Norma, thank you again for the super chat. Um... Milton Thornton Jr., thank you for your super chat. Uh, Surgeon of Life, welcome to the AirPods. Doku, thanks for the super. My my friends were debating if Sino's jokes are dad jokes and uncle jokes, but we decided uncle jokes because at least dad jokes are funny. What? It could be dad and uncle. I don't uncle jokes. I actually I haven't heard that term. Actually, I've only heard dad jokes. I don't know. Maybe he could have a couple uncle jokes. Sant, thank you for the super. Uh, you take care as well. Uh, Chisai, thank you for the super. Robin, thank you again for the super. Milton Thornton Jr., thank you. Um, Takia, love the comedy tonight. Thanks for your super, Takia. And yes, congratulations on Sino. I finally got him. It only took a ton of money. Um, Morgan Ashley, thanks for your super chat. 
Uh, yeah, I will try to level up my characters. I need to get, I need to get more materials. I have, I've not done a domain in forever. Uh, Doku. Uh, thank you so much for your super chat. Hannah, thank you for your super chat. Um, I'm so happy that you enjoyed the insight into voiceover. Uh, it was a lot. It's always fun talking about that stuff, guys. It's just hard to, uh, sometimes it's hard to articulate every single thing because there's so many things that you can do, but, uh, thank you for your super Hannah and I'm happy you enjoyed it. Night Slasher Studios. Thank you for your super chat and Ari Suja. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the earbuds for 11 months, almost a year. That's crazy. And I'm so happy you enjoyed Cyberpunk. Thank you for the kind words. Christina Chu says, thanks for the congrats. We'll keep you updated. Please do. And welcome back, Christina, for five months to the year. But Starry B, thanks for the super. And Tubbs, thank you for the super. Guys, it's been awesome. Thank you again so much for coming out tonight. And you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, wherever it is you are in the world. And I will catch you later. Work hard, everybody. Stay safe out there. And, uh, uh, um, live, laugh, love. <laughs> Hunter Lee, thank you for your super chat. <laughs> live, laugh, love. <laughs> don't ever buy a, don't ever buy a picture of that and put it in your house. Please, <laughs> please don't do that. <laughs>